Okay, let's take a look at a few of the new features. Let's start with passwords. Go to File, Password Groups. Pick one of our groups that we've created. Having over 30 years of experience developing software, we know each unit does not operate the same and we allow you to decide who has access to what areas of the program, if they can be edited, and which members of the database they can see. We have expanded the passwords area and made it easier than ever to control your user's access. We now have none, read, write, and now add delete permissions for each area. We have expanded the adult permissions area to give you control over adult personal data, medical, awards, leadership, and training. We have also done the same for scouts. Other permissions include the ability to access account settings, customize the website, edit the newsletter, send email or text, update linked members, and upload documents. You can also hide the following fields. Let's take a look at this tab here, uh, the members that this group can access. This gives you control of who each person in this group can see. You can now create passwords so users automatically see themselves, their child. In addition to these settings, you can give multiple patrols and any combination of scouts and adults from a list. If you don't want them to see all adults and all scouts, simply uncheck those boxes, select the patrols from the list, select an additional scout if you like, um, maybe if, you know you want them to see this adult, this adult, and this adult. So now anyone in this group will be able to see themselves, their child, these two patrols, this scout, and these three adults. Simple. To assign new users to this group, simply click on this tab, click the little plus beside their name, and it adds them to this password group. This gives you complete control of who people can see, what they can make changes to, and who is in each group.